let's pay particular attention to the solution of this differential equation and its domain. So we're going to solve the initial value problem, dy dt equals y cubed, with the initial condition y of 0 equals 1. Divide both sides by y cubed. It's a little bit easier to integrate. We just keep y in the power form. Minus 1 half y to the minus 2. That's the antiderivative of y to the minus 3. t plus c contain the constants on the right side. And now we start to solve for y. Multiply both sides by minus 2. Express y to the minus 2 as a fraction. Find that c is equal to 1 with the initial condition. And then I can divide both sides by 1 minus 2t. Multiply both sides by y squared. Eventually I get to y is plus or minus square root of 1 over 1 minus 2t. I choose the positive because of the y value of the initial condition and the numerator square root of 1 is just 1. So now when you look at the solution it clearly has domain less than 1 half. I can't let t be 1 half and I have to choose either to the left of 1 half or to the right of 1 half. My initial condition is given at 0 so I have to choose to the left of 1 half. But you see in the original problem, the slope function was y cubed, and the partial derivative with respect to y was 3y squared. Those functions are continuous everywhere in the plane. There was no hint that there would be a problem with this solution, or that there would be a restriction on the domain of this solution. But nonetheless, the domain of this solution does have an important restriction. So you can't tell from the beginning of a problem when you're going to restrict the domain and when you won't. You just have to be sensitive to the function and the solution and the problem.